Uh, good evening, uh, dear students and dear colleagues. Myself, Dr. Ashok Sharma, and as you all are already aware that our university has introduced and launched many new good programs, and in that continuation in that series, today we are going to discuss with you one another. program we are going to make a presentation about that one new program uh, which has been launched by our school of humanities and uh, dr pema eden ma'am she is the program coordinator of this new program and it is related to post graduate diploma in british literature so i welcome pema madam uh, most welcome madam thank you dr sharma thanks ma'am thanks for kindly joining us for introducing this new program to our learners and now i request you to kindly provide us the complete details of this new program and how are we and our students going to be benefited by this new diploma program kindly give us complete details thank you ma'am uh, thank you very much dr sharma for your uh, for your invitation as well as the kind words of introduction uh may i uh, request you to allow me to share my screen so that i can show them some of the things that i have for this course yes please ma'am please uh like you rightly pointed out we have a number of uh, pg diplomas on offer this time and the first pg diploma that we are going to be talking about in some detail is the post graduate diploma in british literature now uh, most of you already know that our university was created by an act of parliament in 1985 and all our degrees and the uh, degrees that are awarded are recognized because i see a lot of students asking whether the degrees are legitimate whether they are recognized so please note it is recognized and of course you are also aware that we have a 21 schools of studies and 67 regional centers and recognized regional centers so with the whole network that we have between the regional services division and the schools of studies we uh, bring to you very uh, interesting and varied programs that will somehow help you in your career and uh, now this particular program that i'm going to be talking about today is the pg diploma in british literature and let's begin with the basics let's look at the eligibility all right we need you to be a graduate you can be a graduate with a ba degree or a bsc degree or a bcom degree that's okay we do not require that you should have been a ba english honor student or any such thing if you are a ba english honor student it will be uh, easier for you it will be more helpful for you because you already have the background information but the others um, the other graduates it could be a little challenging because they'll be shifting especially for those who are shifting from science to the humanities it might be a little um, of a challenge because they have to get used to writing narratives writing in a more descriptive manner than they are used to in science so that is all that i have to say about the eligibility the duration is a minimum of a year maximum time limit you get is 3 years within which you need to complete your pg diploma now the the pg diploma in british literature what we are doing specially in this particular program is that we are going to be looking at three important genres of literature and within british literature so we give you meg1 which is british poetry we begin from the um, medieval ages not before that so we begin with geoffrey chaucer then we deal with the renaissance poets which is largely edmund spenser then the metaphysical poets we move down to the late renaissance where we look at john milton then we move to the cl neoclassical poets we come down to the romantic age and study romantic poetry we come down to the victorian age we look at victorian poetry we look at the modernist poets and then we look very briefly at the contemporary poets so british the course on british poetry meg1 is a very very comprehensive course which takes you through an entire um you know different periods in the history of uh, british literature then in meg2 which is british drama we look at 
different types of drama belonging to British literature. So we have Dr. Foster's, we have A Midsummer Night's Dream, we have Hamlet, The Alchemist, The Playboy of the Western World, Pygmalion, Murder in the Cathedral, Look Back in Anger, and Waiting for Godot. The third compulsory course in the PG Diploma in British Literature is the British Novel Component. So we look at different types of novels that were written. So you begin with Tom Jones, you move on to Pride and Prejudice, Wuthering Heights, Great Expectations, Middlemarch, Heart of Darkness by Conrad, then A Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man, A Passage to India by Foster, and you finally end with The Prime of Miss Jean Brody. Now, apart from these three courses, which are of eight credits each, which means you have a total of 24 credits of pure British literature, British poetry, British drama, British novel. There is also a compulsory component, which is your literary criticism and theory. Okay, in this, we give you an introduction to what is literary criticism and theory. Then we talk about classical criticism, which means basically the Greeks and the Romans. Then we come down to romantic criticism, which is largely Wordsworth and, Sh and uh, Shelley. Uh, so sorry, Wordsworth and Coleridge. Then we come down to Marxist view of literature or Marxist criticism. We look at various feminist theories, we look at deconstruction, and we come down to contemporary literary theory. Now, these four courses, MEG 1, MEG 2, MEG 3, MEG 5, they comprise your uh, PG diploma in British literature. Now, the, you, uh, the interesting thing about uh, uh, this particular PG diploma is that, you know, what you can also do is... If you complete this PG diploma, right, and you feel that you can uh, possibly attend to the MA because you are comfortable with this, you've, you've completed your work, and you know that you can move forward, you can take it on as a challenge. MA doesn't sound frightening to you anymore because you finished this. You can get admission directly into the second year of the MA English program. So that is uh, the way we have designed the PG Diploma in British Literature, along with the other PG Diplomas. So it's a, it's a standalone co program by itself if somebody, you know, like, let's say, has already done a master's, but has not specialized in any area and wants to focus on a particular area, maybe for research, maybe because it will help them in their present jobs or whatever. So you can opt for this particular PG Diploma. If, you've, um, if you want to do a PhD later on in this area, this will give you very good, uh, you know, uh, a very good foundation. So those are the various ways that you can look at why you might want to do this PG diploma, why you could be interested, because we are also trying to create something like area studies so that you have specializations, right? So this is one of the specializations that we offer. And uh, that's about all that I really have to say, because I think we should frighten the children a little too much. Dr. Sharma, anything from your side? Any questions that they could possibly ask? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, uh, I'm thinking from the viewpoint of a fresh learner. And as a student, I would like to know, uh, as a student, what will I gain from uh, doing this uh, PG diploma, please? Like I said, if you are already, if you are an English honor student already, right? And you want a career in teaching, whether it is teaching in schools. So if you do this, you can be, possibly be a PGT. Or even if you want to be in higher education, which means you want to move towards doing a PhD, eventually becoming a teacher uh, in a college or a university yourself, then this will you know, give you a more solid foundation, a specialization in a particular area. So you can always say that I've done a PG diploma in British literature. So that is my area of interest. That is my area of focus, whatever. So in that sense, it helps you. Then if somebody, um, I think even if you're looking at uh, writing uh, content development for various online projects or whatever, and especially if you work in this area of literature, right, it will always give you, uh, you will always have an upper hand because you know the content so well. You know which age follows what. You know which or who were the major poets, what were the trends in poetry or be the trends in novels. So anywhere in your career you need to put in these things, it will always give you an upper hand. And like I said, you can also go in for a, a MA degree after that. You can go uh, get admission straight away in the second year. 
yes yes thank you madam uh, this is what i was going to ask you uh, uh, considering myself uh, for example just for example uh, considering myself uh, just a fresh graduate and uh, after uh, completing my graduation this very year if i get enrolled in this pg diploma uh, will i be uh, able to uh, get admission in a masters degree after doing this pg diploma yes because we have designed the ma and the pg diplomas in such a way that uh, you complete the pg diploma and if you feel that you want to do an ma you don't have to do the first year right you get admission straight away in the second year but you need to complete all your assignments and you need to pass in all your courses so then you can apply directly for the second year and you get admission to the second year of the ma so in short when there also you will be doing one compulsory course and you will be choosing a module now what i mean by the module is like just as we had this british literature module similarly we have other modules which is new literatures in english we have writings from india writings from the margins we also have a module on the novel so we are looking at novels from three different um, countries so you will actually be you know getting like two pg diplomas and an ma degree if you do the ma so that is the other advantage of it yes uh, thank you madam thank you so much uh, and uh, dear students uh, i am hopeful that uh, after watching this video uh, on our youtube channel uh, you might be uh, getting some interest in getting enrolled in this program and you might be wondering uh, where you can uh, approach to get enrollment in this program to get enrolled in this program so i would just like to uh, share my screen with you all Uh, just to show uh, the link uh, where you can find uh, program details uh, about this program and i am hopeful that uh, you are able to uh, watch my screen and uh, i hope that you are uh, seeing the google home page uh, ma'am is it visible yes the google home page is visible yes so uh, dear students uh, thanks for taking interest in our this program and i would just like to show you Uh, where you can find the program details and the link uh, where you can get enrolled by filling up your details and paying the fees for this program so you can see that this is google home page and if uh, just like you search other uh, keywords you can fill it uh, ignu i g n o u here either you can try i g n o u or you can directly go to ignu.ac.in which is our uh, official website of ignu so you can see that i have uh, filled in ignu i g n o u here in this google keywords search bar and then you have to click ignu the people's university when you will click it this will lead you to the home page of our university and here at this third position you will see register online and at the third place you will see fresh admission so please click fresh admission because you are going to take fresh admission in this program and here if you need more program details about our this pg plt program so you can please click program information and here the list of all the available programs is given and here again you will see one search bar so kindly type in pg b pg b it is for pg diploma and blt it is for british literature so when you will uh, fill pgd blt here you will get the name of the program here pgd blt postgraduate diploma british literature so please click here read more when you will click it this will lead you to the program details at the top you can see program code and program name is given it is pg diploma type mode is open and distance learning and it is offered by our school of humanities the minimum duration of this pg diploma is 1 year and maximum is 3 years it is offered in english medium and after doing this program you will develop the specialization in british literature and as madam just told you uh, the eligibility of this program for getting enrolled in this program the eligibility criteria is you must have passed bachelor's degree or any other higher degree from a recognized university the fee structure is rupees 7000 plus 300 rupees registration fees the name of program coordinator as you all know uh, dr pema eden madam uh, she just introduce 
this program to you in sufficient details. So uh, you can find the program details here at our this website. And when you are going to try to get enrolled in this program, first you have to register yourself. So for registering yourself, uh, it is given here this site. So you have to read the instructions and follow the instructions to get yourself registered. And then further, you can get enrolled yourself in this very important program. If you are curious that if we have developed any video uh, tutorial that how can a fresh learner fill online application form for admission. So here you can find the video in Hindi as well as in uh, English languages. So you can go through these videos. These are very short uh, videos and you can get a complete uh, instruction and you can get complete directions uh, after going through these videos how you are going to apply for fresh admission. So uh, I'm hopeful that uh, our students uh, might have developed a lot of interest uh, who are already uh, a, a student of literature and they might be uh, getting uh, enrolled after watching uh, our this video program in this PG diploma in British literature. And I'm hopeful that uh, it is going to be very beneficial for our learners. Uh, yes, ma'am, uh, your concluding remarks, please, and then uh, we will close this session. Yes, ma'am, please. Uh, thank you, Dr. Shurma. I suddenly thought of it when you were talking about the students, that it's not only for literature. You know, even people who, like, I see a lot of students who've done engineering. Yes. Who want to do humanities because they actually were interested in MA English, but their parents forced them to do engineering because that's a better career option. So then they want to turn to literature and then the, the doubts remain. Will I be able to do it? Because it's two different streams altogether. And like I was saying, for people from the sciences and the engineering and, uh, you know, computer backgrounds, it becomes a bit of a challenge because they're not used to writing in details. They're not used to descriptive writing. They write very short, short sentences straight to the point. Now, in literature, you develop you need to develop a different kind of writing. Yes. So for those people who want to figure out whether they are capable or whether they will be able to do the MA in English, I think it's a good idea for them to enroll in the PG diploma first. And once they have mass, you know, they've completed it, then they should move on to the second year of the PG diploma. So yes. I think that is uh, that would help them. That's yes. all I needed to say. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I am sure every all of us will be ready to help the learners in whatever capacity we can, should they you know, so desire to enroll with us. Yes, ma'am. And ma'am, uh, uh, I, I would just like to thank you for uh, raising this very important point. And dear learners, uh, as you might be uh, knowing the uh, full name of our university, uh, which we call IGNO in short, I-G-N-O-U. Uh, in this term, uh, in this abbreviation, uh, you must have gone through a particular uh, word, open, open. Actually, I would just like to touch uh, this word here. Uh, by open, we mean uh, our uh, uh, system and its flexibility. It is open for all. Uh, any person from any stream, uh, just, just uh, let, us, let us take the example of our this PG diploma in British literature. And as you have just seen the eligibility criteria of this program, bachelor's degree, bachelor's degree, please note, any person who has done bachelor's degree from any stream, if you have done your uh, graduation from arts, you are eligible to take admission in this PG diploma. If you have done your graduation from commerce background, if you have done BCom, then also you are most welcome. Our doors are open for you. Our university is open for you. Even if you have done your uh, graduation from science background, if you have done BSc, even then, as, as Madam has also told, uh, even if you are from uh, engineering background. So, uh, so our university is open for each and every person. And it is a very good chance for you all to get enrolled in this program and uh, learn about this uh, uh, literature, British literature program. And it has been very beautifully designed by our, by our university. Uh, the course material is excellent. Our system is very flexible. And we welcome you all to uh, our university. You can join our university. Uh, and I am I'm very glad to share it with you all that uh, our university 
uh, is a very uh, uh, very big family uh, rather rather i should say it is the it is the biggest family of uh, teachers and learners and students and stakeholders uh, on on this earth i can say uh, if if i go uh, in the number of our alumni uh, who have done already done their degrees diplomas and who have already passed out so uh, this number is perhaps more than 30 lakhs about 35 lakhs and uh, if i uh, talk about the number of uh, uh, presently enrolled learners who are on roll so it is again about uh, more than 30 lakhs and not only in india uh, but uh, uh, even even in abroad even even in foreign countries also we are having our students uh, foreigners even foreigner learners are uh, enrolled in our various programs so ours is a very uh, big family of uh, uh, teachers academicians uh, professors academic counselors uh, non teaching staff students students from all categories uh, of of the society uh, male female sc st obc general uh, very high profile learners are also there uh, who are doing their uh, diplomas degrees from ignu so our university is open for each and every person on this earth so uh, you are most welcome to uh, kindly go through our program details which i have shown you uh, in this live demo uh, you can visit our website and uh, uh, under the uh, register online link you will find fresh admissions and there you will find a link program information and there in that search bar you can just simply type pgd blt and the complete diploma details will be available there on your screen and then by registering yourself you can get enrolled in our this program so uh, on behalf of school of humanities on behalf of pema madam and on behalf of our university uh, i welcome you all to kindly get enrolled in this program thank you so much for kindly joining us in this program and watching our, our this video and uh, once again i thank pema madam for kindly uh, sparing her valuable time and sharing the program details with us all thank you so much ma'am Thank you very much, Dr. Sharma. It's always a pleasure to work with the Regional Services Division because we, as you brightly pointed out, are one family. We need to work together not only for our own welfare but also for the welfare of the students. Yes, so ma'am. Thank, thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much.